Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we had, <laughs> we had, and uh, there, there's a funny thing before I started recording, so uh, I'll get to that in a second. We, <laughs> the recap is that we had finally completed the trials, and now we are full-fledged Jedi with both lightsabers picked up. Uh, apparently a Mandalorian was collecting lightsabers from Jedi he killed and we picked up one. We picked up a crystal in the crystal caves and it was a green crystal which I wanted. Uh, the other lightsaber was blue so we kept it and uh, yeah we've pretty much helped a lot of people on Dantooine. Uh, not everyone on Dantooine but in most situations that was required to help out a little bit uh we also uh, solved a murder mystery where twist both the suspects were the murderer or one was technically attempted and then also attempted on the other suspect because he thought um well i guess that he thought that he was the uh other guy who he was intending to murder in the first place i think it was, it was a very convoluted thing. Okay. Um, anyway. The thing that was weird was that... <laughs> and that made the recording take a little... Well, attempt to record a little longer than I uh, had anticipated. And uh, thus made uh, my ability to record for the day a little less <laughs> time than I uh, really had intended. Um, the game file, apparently... At some point, and it will sometimes apparently do this uh, of its own accord, apparently corrupted to the point that half of the text that we're reading right now was complete and utter garbage. Just complete fucking gibberish. Like it would have A button, B button, number of symbols just strewn where text was supposed to be and none of it made any sense whatsoever i didn't record it because i uh thought that i had i was going to suddenly crash and my xbox was going to die and melt down into a husk of plastic so uh <laughs> husk of plastic and metal and junk so uh, i was Sitting there going, okay, what the fuck is wrong? Turns out it was just the game file corrupted. I just deleted it, reinstalled it, and it works perfectly fine now. But it was a little odd <laughs> to see that. Because usually that sort of thing just doesn't happen. Apparently it did it on its own. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh... I, I tried to, like, review, like, active quests going on to make sure I was remembering what had happened properly. And all of that was gibberish. It was just a combination of symbols and button prompts. And that was about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just... It was complete and utter garbage text. And... There was nothing really readable, period. Uh, but it's fixed now. It's fixed now and it's all good. So, we're going to continue on with the Jedi Council thing. Now that we are officially a Padawan. And we'll talk with them. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Okay, so uh, we'll talk to not Bastila and talk to uh, Master Vandar. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard okay. of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We I've seen it. Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Oh. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The I Force see. is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. 
Okay. That is why the council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. Really? The secrets to stopping Malak okay. may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. I gotcha. So, what happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. Okay. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? So, he could be dead. Gotcha. Uh, why doesn't v Master Vruk like Master me? Master Vruk may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. Okay. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The All way right. ahead will Fair be enough. difficult for young Bastila. And for you. Okay. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Fair enough. Oh, yay! I can have her join my party now. Awesome. And uh, in that case, since we uh, are getting rid of a ranged... Well, getting rid of another melee character in uh, Zalbar... Uh, I think we'll just keep a ranged person around. And, uh... <laughs> While I kind of like mission, uh, it'd be kind of scummy to have just an all-female team instead of around me, my guy. <laughs> it'd be pretty scummy. <laughs> but... <laughs> but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, she is a pretty decent ranged character, and we have upgraded some of her stuff quite a bit. But, um, I'm not entirely sure Karth is up to snuff when it comes to his equipment and uh, skills yet. And, to be fair, Mission is our skill person. She is very useful in the skills department. So, I guess... <laughs> I kind of have to. Demand justice. The oh. family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. Okay, now, guy. Look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you to. Oh, the these, these are the cross. families that own those little mistake. estates. Mistake. My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? Oh. There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. Okay, guy, calm the, the fuck down. Malak and the Sith may be. We Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into his son's disappearance. Okay, you have I mean... Time, Padawan. You may want to investigate this matter. So you want me to do that too? <laughs> but I have more important things to do. Is there anything else I should know about it? These two families have been settled here for some years now. Okay. They're causing me no end of trouble. Oh, when? They have been settled here for some time and feuding ever since. Okay, fair enough. What caused the feud? I, I know where they're settled. Uh, what caused the feud? I do not know the families. the original feud started, but they want nothing to do with each other. As you may have heard, Alan Matali believes that his son, Shen, has been kidnapped by Nurik Sandral. Okay. Curiously, Nurik's son, Cassus, has been missing for some time as well. I fear Nurik may suspect Alan in this. Is there gotcha. anything else you wish to know? So, they both think that the other took their son for purposes as to yet be explained. I'm assuming this is some patriarchal bullshit about, oh, wow, the son is going to carry on the family line, and it's just, nah, ba -da, ba -da. Uh, thus you are trying to take, you know, my family and destroy it, grr, sort of bullshit, I'm assuming, I don't know. Um, I will investigate if there's time. Uh, I shall investigate it immediately. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. Oh, yeah, well. Allow that to happen. Your yeah, study well. and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. Fair it enough. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. 
You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has Fair its own enough. importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. And loot. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong goddamn button. Okay. Now we're going to level up Bastila. Yay! Uh, let's up wisdom a bit since we're already pretty pretty much up there. Um, the skills. Um, yeah? She only has two points. I'm starting to wonder maybe I should put it into something else like intelligence. <laughs> Because she's, she's starting to uh, drag a little bit in points. But, I mean, I guess since we have mission there to fill in those gaps, maybe I shouldn't bother with that. Now that I think about it. Um, I mean, she does healing. This only affects really med packs. Huh. And awareness would be spotting objects or enemies hidden by stealth. Guess it would probably be good to pump points into. Powers, let's see. Um, really, she hasn't gotten stasis yet. Oh, well, that'll, that'll be in a bit, I'm sure. Now that I think about it, it should be very soon. Um, hmm. Force shield. Okay. Um, dark side powers probably will not go well. Um, let's just make her the uh, make her the buff person. Well, the buffing person, rather. I should rephrase that uh, a little more uh, correctly. Shields of the Jedi and the Force. Um, hmm. Would any of these... This one actually does the party. So I guess that's a good idea. Hmm. Force shield plus four bonus to defense and all saving throws and it's restricted by armor. Huh. So essentially that makes up for any armor defense difference to going to a lighter armor or what was it? No armor like the Jedi robes. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. That might mean it's worthwhile to go after Force Shield. If anything. Um, although energy resistance seems pretty good too. Um, seems like it might be a good sort of energy shield without actually being a uh, shield thing. Damage over and above the first 15 points are suffered as normal. This one, this one does the entire party. Well, that just does the Jedi. I'll remove that and actually put it into this so we can put it into improved energy resistance later. Cool. Ow! Oh! Only one? <laughs> really? Uh, it, won't, it won't be much longer till the next one anyway. Alright. Uh, sonic nullifiers, all of that cool stuff. Okay. Uh, we should equip her in something um, that actually has defense. I'm thinking I'll give her this because I know, I think that there should be more robes coming. Uh, better robes coming at some point. So, uh, let's give her that for now. Um, neural band. That won't work for her. Uh, 
That only defends against Sonic? That's it? Okay, well. Fucking not even worth it. And nothing. Okay. So I'll switch to me. See if there's anything I can do for me. Not really. <laughs> okay. Cardio. Well, that would add to dexterity, which I don't really need. So. And she only has the one. That's fine, I guess. Alrighty. Sure. <laughs> don't know why that was delayed, but alright. Let's see if I can upgrade any of the uh, weapons before I go, like Bendax Blaster. Oh, I can very much upgrade that for, uh, <laughs> very much upgrade that for, uh, <laughs> mission. Why was my brain breaking on her name? Oh, no. I'm oh, so stupid. Okay, so that adds an attack bonus. Uh, th plus one to make it three. That's uh, already added damage bonus. Uh, another added damage bonus and another attack bonus. So we are up there. Bendax Blaster is pretty damn kitted out right now. Uh, sh this is currently on mission, if I recall correctly. This is not on anyone. Um, adds defense bonus and this one... Gives immunity to mind affecting. I should probably give that to Karth at some point. Melee. Let's see. Oh. Okay, this one's already killed out. Wait. These have different. These have different properties if you upgrade them. Huh. That's weird. And less exact. Very less exact than it would be for... Uh, the second one. I only just noticed this now. That's weird. That's really weird. Why would... So, if anything, the prototype Vibroblade is probably the best one, because that's purely physical. Huh. Plus, it has a higher attack modifier when you upgrade it. That's weird. Oh. I meant to change her crystal, because why not? Make her match the color scheme that we're going for. Okay, let's head out. And find out more about this uh, Shen Metale. And what happened to him. Hey, Johnny. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, I keep doing that when I mean to go to the map. God. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm the dumbest. Okay. Now let's head out. I'm going to drink my soda. Not a name brand soda because name brands is for suckers. I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh, that one uh, Jedi that was out here isn't here anymore. His name was Nemo, if I recall correctly. Thank John. You exacting my revenge on the Hi beasts. Oh yeah. Only I could have been the one to tear out Sharuk's heart. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, that one lady with her speeder who was doinking her robot is gone. Well, I mean, <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. She's no longer here. I guess that, uh, since she found out her robot is, uh, gone. <laughs> okay. I guess that's just how it goes. I keep doing that. 
Grr. All right, uh, that's a path south, and that's it. Okay. I guess we just take the path south to go to the metallic grounds, which I guess was right there. All right, and what was the mission again? Sandro Matale feud. Alan Natale has approached the Jedi Council and demanded action. He believes that the head of the rival Sandral family, Nurik Sandral, has kidnapped his son. The Jedi Council has decreed that you may investigate the disappearance so long as it does not distract from your main quest. Okay, well, um... I should probably do the main quest thing, but at the same time, I, uh... Did I ever... Did I ever loot that? I did. Cool. I should probably also help them immediately. Because I have a feeling they'll flip their shit if I don't. Just just a feeling. Couldn't really tell you where it's coming from other than, you know, they're already flipping their shit. I'm assuming... Oh! So... Metale guard robot. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Um, I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. I wish to speak to Alan Metale. You have come from the Jedi. Master Metale wishes to speak with oh. you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he... Sounds good. I guess I'll have to wait here. Okay, that is quite an entourage of war droids you have there, bud. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the council. That is absolutely not a protocol I'm droid. I think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. I don't think you had the same voice here as you did in the council chambers. It sounds off. Okay, anyway. Uh, why are you so certain the Sandrils are to blame? Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core world. Okay. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices hmm. the Sandrils have committed against the Metales are far too numerous to name. But the council is well aware of our many disputes. I'm not. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. Okay, what were they doing there? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. Okay. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. Okay. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate... Oh, so it is exactly the way I thought Nurek, it was. Obviously, okay. Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Right. You are jumping to conclusions. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. I'm not stalling. I'm just saying you're crazy. Yes. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the sand. That is not what I'm getting at, the credits man. directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. That's... That is... <laughs> Yeah, double it, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Okay, no, no. I understand you are upset. Rest assured, I will find Shen. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. All right, all right, all right. I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Okay, calm down, man. Jedi. We have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. Okay, okay, all right, all right, Jesus. Well, I earned XP for that. 
for him yelling at me saying, Oh, if you don't do nothing, I'm going to do something and it ain't going to be good. God. I hate myself. I keep hitting that stupid button. Alright. Well. I could go down there or I could do the uh, main little ruin area first. I think I'm going to just complete this. It sounds like there might be a timetable. Although I don't think this game is sophisticated enough to have a very... Um, very particular timetable when it comes to it. You probably have to do a certain thing before it'll... Uh, before it'll just skip the event entirely. Also, I'm assuming that this will probably be the uh, longer path, but, I mean... Be an XP for uh, Bastos, so might as well. Uh, if I hit that button again, I'm cutting off my thumb. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Stop doing that. Alright. Uh, we'll wait for it to engage us. And then... Okay, that was weird. All right, perfect. Awesome. Cool. Bastila took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Not like she hasn't done worse. What? Oh, <laughs> I thought all of them were <laughs> laying over their dead. I was sitting there going, oh, what? Uh, let's do Force Whirlwind. Oh, that worked. Nice. And, wow, it didn't use all that much force power after all. Or for other force points. Ah, I guess both the same thing, really. Blue does match her little outfit now. Very nicely, I gotta admit. Alright, so, we'll go after these ones. Uh, we'll, let's do Force Whirlwind and Flurry again. Should work. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. <laughs> oh man, if I manage to get all of them. <laughs> oh, that's that's rude. That's fucked up. It's fucked up of me. But it's working. All right, and. Wow. <laughs> we tore through him like it was nothing. Whoo, boy. That was mildly fucked up on my part. I'll admit, readily, it was mildly fucked up on my part. Alright, we go through the grove to the Zandril Estates. Eventually. Oh, well, hi there. How are you doing? Wow. This is mildly rude. Whoa. That was a lot of damage. Alright, well. Fucking hell, man. How many of them are there? Um. What the? Um. Don't know why my target was on mission. That was weird. Awesome. And there's nothing over here. Good to know. Assuming, yeah, I just have to go through that way. And then I'm at the Sandril Estate. Yep, the Sandril Grounds. A little quicker than I thought it would be. And I think the main area is over here? Yes, I was correct. It's over this way. And I'm going to see if there's anything over there. Nope, just the one speeder of the... Uh... Really? 
Well, if it's not going to come after me, I'm not going to go after it. For now. Yep, it completely ignored me. Good. Well. Let's uh, go talk to the droid, because I'm assuming they have a similar scout droid outside. Yep, I was right. This one looks like a proper protocol droid. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I've come on behalf of the Jedi Council. The Council? Yes. If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. Oh, for fuck's sake. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matale witch hunt. Okay. The moment you said witch hunt, I'm already 95% against you, but... Uh, I'm not in league with the Matales, but I must speak to Nurik. Nurik left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. I'm sure you will. Going to the main hall. Nurik will meet with you there. Good. Good, 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 good. Inside we go. Sandral Estate. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I do. And why do you talk like that? Isn't that kind of weird? Okay. Uh, I came... I'm here on behalf of the Jedi Council. I'm investigating the disappearance of Shen Metala. I brought my family here harassed and treated like common criminals. I'm not even doing that. The Council has no authority here. And I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. You, you're Jedi making a lot of fairness in pursuit of justice. Making a lot of there assumptions there, but from us, unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Is that a threat, bud? You realize I've carved through multiple security droids before even getting to this planet, right? You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Yes, you are right. Do you know something about it? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. Okay. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. Mm -hmm. He's not thinking rationally. Okay. Uh, Cassus disappeared. Yes, Cassus was my brother. He was working on archaeological digs here in Dantooine when he disappeared. Uh -huh. My father blamed Alan Metale and his son. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Uh, what has your father done? You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. When you start with you must understand, you're already making me think he has pulled something extremely shady. And you're trying to excuse it. Just tell me what's happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. Oh. He's holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales. A way to get even for the disappearance of my brother. I Cassius. gotcha. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I'm afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Whoa. That's... Do you happen to know what happened to Cassus? I do not know. I am worried for him, truly. But I do not believe Alan Matale had anything to do with it. And now my father may take it out on Shen. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Why do you care about Shen? Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other. Oh my god, this is a Romeo and Juliet story. Us. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And... And Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all. Uh, he just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him uh, too. They were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Uh, 
Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So. You have spoken to Nurik Sandral and his daughter, Rahasia. Nurik denies any involvement in Chen's disappearance, but Rahasia tells another story. She says that her father was, has captured Chen because he believes that Alan has some has his own son, Cassus. Chen is being held in the Sandral estate, and Rahasia has given you a key to the rear entrance so that you may help him escape. Now, there's a thing. As far as I'm aware, there is a thing you can do if I remember something correctly. I have a vague memory of this mission from another person who played the game a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> There was a thing where apparently you could find the body of Cassus, I think, just out in a field somewhere, torn apart by cath hounds. I'm going to try and do that. I'm not entirely sure how well it'll turn out, but I'm going to try it. I just don't know where to look. So at this point, I'm playing the guessing game. Oh! Wow, I found this guy anyway. Damn it! The one time it didn't work. Alright, well, could you guys help me a little? Please? A little bit would be nice. Awesome. Alright. Did I ever? It seems familiar. I probably did. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Uh... Well, I don't... Oh, pff, that was a Bastila prompt. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, let's go back to the, uh... Oh, another one. Oh, I just realized what time it is uh, for the episode timer. Uh, it's a little bit over time, but I'll uh, at least head over to give it a shot. Yeah, thanks for joining in, guys. No, 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 don't, no, please, please, I can handle it. No, don't worry about it, I can do it. <sighs> and don't stress yourselves. Don't stress yourselves. I can handle it. Alright, well. Okay. Remains. Oh. Well, that was immediate. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be so quickly. Um... I was going to say I was going to actually go to search for it in the next episode, but that was right there. I saw the backpack and I was like, did I miss something? I guess I did. Uh, either that or that wasn't there until I started this mission. Could be that. Okay, cardio package, Chani light armor, that's pretty good. Uh, Chani shield, Verpine headband, and Cassus's diary. Probably a good thing to ha ha ha. Okay, you're gonna get cut off now, thumb. Where's my sword? <laughs> okay. Um. Let's go find that fucking thing. Rahash Rahasia's key, rather. Rahasha satsats la la la. Fucking. That's a game grumps bit. Johnny Shield and Light Armor. I should really look into that armor at some point. Uh, Cassus' Diary. There we go. This is the diary of Cassus Sandral, amateur archaeologist. It details his efforts to discover the source of the ancient ruins found across the surface of Dantooine. Upon reading it, 
You gather that he has found some correlation between the ruinings and some ruins and something called the rack. The rack. Now, uh, here's another little bit of backstory about old Stray Cat here. Uh, back when it initially launched, I was very much into the MMO, The Old Republic. Primarily because I played the second game in this series and I wanted an online version of that. Because I was heavily into MMOs at the time. I was getting disillusioned with WoW. And I kind of wanted a Star Wars story like this. So I was like, okay, I'm all in. Especially since you could be like a Jedi and, you know, whatnot. Pretty much the first few minutes in. Um, I recall a name from the game. Uh, the Rakata. Never really came up again in 2, if I recall correctly. But it came up in uh, the Old Republic for the online game. I'm assuming the rack might be associated with that. It's hard to tell. I know that there was an ancient civilization. That's about all I know. I guess in this game we'll find out. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to slowly, you know, work our way through to our main mission. Which is apparently following in the footsteps of, uh, you know, what our dreams are telling us <laughs> at this point. And, uh, apparently now we're wrapped up in a, uh, Romeo and Juliet type feud between the Sandrals and the Matales, because of course we are. It's either going to end badly or end goodly. We'll find out which for you.